Hello, welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, I'm up on a ladder and uh, got a little job here. It seems a little intimidating, but I think we'll, uh, I hope we'll be all right. So let me show you what we're doing. All right, take it in back. All right, let her out. Let go. See how it keeps going? So, the other one's doing the same thing, just not as bad. But I wanted to get this one done because it's the worst. So we contacted Alliance and uh, we sent them a video of it. We sent them a video of both of them. We had to come up and get the numbers off the motor. They sent us two, two motors, no problem. So uh, let's... Uh, dig in here. I, I, I went online and uh, got the service manual for uh, this is a Solera Compass and uh, I think after all the uh, awnings I've had, this has got to be the most flimsiest one I've ever seen. So, alright, let's get started here. This is going to be hard for me to uh, video. I'm going to try to do best I can. With me up on a ladder, it's uh, a little hard. i got to try to balance the camera and work and everything else so uh, let's let's see how we do who let's see how we do here okay in the directions it says to squeeze here and pull I got that one and I can't get the other side so let's put a screwdriver in here there's a little notch in here that you can stick a screwdriver And it comes right off. There's two little tabs here. And then you got two tabs in the back. These are your release. And these tabs hold it. Okay, next it says there's a retaining pin up here. Um, there's a little cover holding it. Alright, so that cover pops up. And there's a retaining pin here that you're supposed to pull, pull up. Don't panic. Yeah, don't panic. And then they said you can leave that in here. And then this pops off. Thought it popped off from the front. Oh, there we go. And I dropped the retaining pin again. Here, grab this too, back. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay, next they say to unplug the power. Well, that's probably the best connections I've seen yet on this camper. <laughs> Wow. Okay, there's one. Put that back up. Oh, that one came out real easy. We're going to smash this one down a little bit. That was a little too easy. That's better. All right, next you have three screws here. Hold it on. It's a three sixteenths Allen wrench, and that's not very tight. Yeah, these weren't very tight at all. Okay, you want to you want to save your bolts. You you are going to reuse them. Yep, 
You don't have to push, just take the tension off. We have a support on the other end holding it up. Then Becky's on this support here holding it. The other part to worry about is your arm. You don't want this coming apart and losing the tension, losing the arm on, on it. So, this looks like it's going to come right out. Okay. And you can see the gears in here, there's four of them. I believe if you was to take this piece off, all these would come out. And then on the motor, you got a spline gear here. So we want to... Get the wires down here so we don't bury them. <laughs> and then, oh, that went right in. Okay, so let's get the bolts back in. I don't even think you would need, the way this is looking to me, I don't think you'd need to remove that retaining clip. I'm thinking you can leave that all together and still remove that uh the motor yeah i don't know why why the directions are telling you to remove that retaining clip i guess if it doesn't work we'll, we'll know we should have one's not going in. Let me see what we got underneath there. There we go. I had to jiggle it. <laughs> uh, she's so funny sometimes. Okay, I'm going to tighten these up a little bit more than what they had it. That just didn't, uh, it didn't seem right. All right, you can remove that support. Yeah, they just seemed a little, a little too loose. Okay. So you want to plug this in. Then these are up here. Okay. Then take this. And this goes in the front. There's uh, two hook clips here, and they go into two notches up here. And clicked in, double check it. Should go in. They said they said you might have to turn the uh, your tube. I guess there's two notches on there that hold it. She's not going down. Okay, Beck, go in 
and hit retract just a little bit. We're going to see if we can knock it in. Oh, I, I got it. Hold up. I just needed to push a little bit with a screwdriver. It went in. Uh... You just needed to jiggle it. Yeah, she said I just needed to jiggle it. Okay, go ahead and try it. Oh, you know what? T take that brace off down there. Just lift it up and pull it to your left, the bottom. Okay. Yeah, this has got to be one of the flimsiest awnings I've ever seen. Alright, it works. That's good. And you're retracting, right? Okay, I just want to make sure the direction was right. All right, bring, bring it out. Let's see if it stops. Stop. It stops sooner than it did. Yeah, it stops a lot sooner. Okay, just hit it off and on, off and on. It's not traveling as far as it did. It just, I think it should stop a lot better. All right, take it in some. All right, bring it out, start and stop. Start and stop. I'm not touching it. You're not touching it. Oh, same thing here. You got retaining clips, and then it snaps in, and that's it. But as you can see, that job looked very intimidating. Um, it's not. What well, wasn't that bad at all? I I tried finding a video on uh, YouTube. I couldn't find one on this particular awning, but that's why I downloaded directions. Directions were pretty straightforward no problem uh, the biggest thing you'll need is either you can get by with a six foot ladder I'd feel safer on a um, eight foot or if you had to you can back your truck up and put a smaller ladder in the back of your truck and do it like that so all right we're gonna get in touch with Alliance and find out what the deal is here okay well thanks for checking it out we'll see you all later bye